So first of all, let me credit my co-worker Luca Bertoglio for doing all the work that is behind this presentation. So uh, as we all know, uh, the use of the brachial artery uh, to gain upper extremity access uh, uh, comes with issues even in extremely expert hands such as uh, you can see here the data from the Mayo Clinic with 12% of surgical repair and several other complications. So it would only make sense to use uh, another artery such as the axillary artery for this success. And the advantage with the axillary artery is that you can work from the right side of the patient, so uh, you have a decreased X-ray exposure. Uh, you can come down with uh, uh, larger, uh, stiffer sheets with uh, uh, more pushability. And uh, uh, we can use a much larger artery, the first segment. Uh, this has additional advantages. Uh, diameter is uh, uh, greater. It is more proximal. It uh, does not lay uh, next to the nerves. Uh, the uh, main uh, drawback is that this is an area where the uh, artery cannot be compressed if you have uh, an issue. And therefore, uh, uh, it has not been used routinely in many centers. We have shown. Uh, uh, in a previous uh, paper, which uh, we presented last year here, uh, that actually percutaneous success of the first segment of the axillary artery can be performed safely. Uh, it is uh, um, achieved always uh, with uh, ultrasonographic uh, guidance. And then we're going to use uh, basically a standard double proglide implant. So uh, there's nothing uh, uh, fancy about uh, uh, the technique to gain the access. So in the interest of time, I'm going to cut this uh, uh, video short. It gets a little bit more interesting when we come to the uh, technique of closing this access. So in order to do this in a very uh, safe way, we are going uh, to snare a wire coming from uh, uh, the femoral artery in order to get a through and through uh, uh, wire from the uh, groin to the axilla. And then we're going to uh, rendezvous, rendezvous the sheaths uh, uh, at the level uh, of the axillary artery. So uh, we have a very safe and secure access of the axillary artery from the femoral arteries with, uh, uh, with a sheath and a wire at this point. Uh, as we withdraw the uh, large sheath from the axillary artery, we are going to inflate uh, a balloon inside uh, the axillary artery so that the maneuvers of closure of the, um, of the closure devices can be performed uh, in a completely bloodless field in a very safe way. We are going to uh, perform an angio at the end. So in case uh, uh, we have a bleeding, we have a flap, we have any other problem, it's very easy and safe to place uh, a stent or a stent graft uh, inside uh, the axillary artery. And we have assessed this uh, technique in uh, 60 patients now, uh, the last 40 in a prospective fashion. And uh, uh, we have also included patients with a rather hostile access with uh, uh, previous accesses, previous scares, or even in the presence of a pacemaker. And uh, it was the left axillary artery. In 90% of the cases, you can see that the diameter at this level was almost uh, nine millimeters. And this allowed us to place uh, uh, usually shifts of uh, uh, 12 French, but even of 14 and 16 French. Actually, uh, this is also the technique that we use now for uh, uh, access of the uh, impeller device, which requires a 14th uh, French sheath, and we didn't have any problem with it. Uh, results of the study were uh, closure success in 90% of the cases. In one case, the proglide broke, so we aborted uh, this kind of procedure, and then we uh, needed to put bare stents uh, in two cases due to flaps uh, and uh, cover stents in three cases uh, because of bleeding. However, we had no uh, surgical conversions. We had no serious complications uh, uh, such as pseudoaneurysm, uh, severe bleeding, uh, thrombosis, or pneumothorax, and uh, particularly no permanent neurological complications. So in conclusion, uh, uh, Dr. Vith, dear chairman, uh, dear colleagues, um, I can say that this technique uh, of using the first segment of the axillary artery uh, with a ultrasound guided puncture and a balloon assisted removal is in fact uh, uh, safe and uh, uh, feasible and 
I uh, recommend that you look into it uh, for your upper limb access. Thank you very much.